Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will recall roots or zeros of a polynomial and we will factor polynomials. Let's have first a review. Factor the following by getting the common monomial factor. The factors of 2x plus 6 are 2 times x plus 3 x squared plus 4x, the factors are x times x plus 4. 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x, the factors are 3x times the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 3. 6x cubed minus 12x squared plus 8x to the fourth. The factors are 2x squared times 3x minus 6 plus 4x squared. Factor the following quadratic equations. x squared plus 4x plus 3. The factors are x plus 3 times x plus 1. x squared minus 5x minus 14. The factors are x minus 7 times quantity x plus 2 x squared minus 64. The factors are x plus 8 times x minus 8. x squared plus 10x plus 25. The factors are x plus 5 times x plus 5, or simply quantity x plus 5 squared. Let's now have factoring polynomials. There are steps in factoring polynomial expressions with degree greater than 2. First, arrange the dividend in descending power of x. Use 0 to fill any missing term. Second, check for common monomial factor and factor it out. Third, use the rational zero theorem to find the possible factors of the polynomial function. Fourth, use synthetic division to find the correct factors by a trial and error. And fifth, write the polynomial in factor form. Find the factors of x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x minus 10. We have a complete polynomial equation here. The possible factors of negative 10 are positive negative 1, 2, 5, and 10. Using synthetic division, let us now identify the numerical coefficients of the given polynomial. We have 1, 6, 3, and negative 10. Let us try 1. Bring down the first numerical coefficient, which is equal to 1, times 1 is 1 plus 6, 7, times 1, 7, plus 3, that's 10, times 1, Positive 10 plus negative 10 is equal to 0. Therefore, 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial. We, we may rewrite these three numerical coefficients as a quadratic equation, which is equal to x squared plus 7x plus 10. Factoring this trinomial, we will then have x plus 2 times x plus 5. Take note that 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial. So if you are going to rewrite this in factor, factored form, that will be x minus 1. Therefore, the factors are x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 5. Find the factors of x to the fourth plus 6x cubed, plus 11x squared, plus 6x. In this case, we have a common monomial factor which is equal to 0. Therefore, the polynomial can be factored out as x times the quantity x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6. Identify the possible factors of positive 6. That will be positive negative 1, 2, 
3, and 6. Identifying the numerical coefficients of the other factor, we will then have 1, 6, 11, and 6. Let us try first negative 1. Bring down the first number which is 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 plus 6, that's 5, times negative 1, that's negative 5, plus 11, that's 6, times negative 1, that's negative 6, plus 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, negative 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial. The three numerical coefficients can be written as x squared plus 5x plus 6. We may now factor this one out. The factors of x squared plus 5x plus 6 are x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 3. Since negative 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial, we may express this in factored form, which is equal to x plus 1. Therefore, the factors of the given polynomial are x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. Find the factors of x to the 4th minus 9x squared plus 4x plus 12. Rewriting in standard form and complete form of the, of the given polynomial that is equal to x to the 4th plus 0x cubed minus 9x squared plus 4x plus 12. The possible factors and zeros of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Using synthetic division, the numerical coefficients of the polynomial are 1, 0, negative 9, 4, and 12. Let us try first negative 1. Bring down 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 8 times negative 1 which is equal to 8 plus 4 is 12 times negative 1 equals negative 12 plus 12 is equal to 0. Since the remainder is equal to 0, then negative 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial. Let's try positive 2. Bring down 1 times 2, that is 2, plus negative 1 equals 1, times 2 equals 2, plus negative 8 is equal to negative 6, times 2 equals negative 12, plus 12 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2 is a 0 of the given polynomial. Since we have only three numerical coefficients left, we may rewrite this in the form of x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. Factoring this quadratic equation, we will then have x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 3. Since negative 1 and 2 are zeros of the given polynomial, we write this in factored form. We will have x plus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 3. Find the factors of x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 18. The possible factors of 18 are positive negative 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Rewriting the numerical coefficients of the given polynomial for our synthetic division, we will have 1, 2, negative 9, and negative 18. Let us try negative 2. Bring down 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 plus 2 equals 0 times negative 2 is 0 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 9. Therefore, negative 2 is a 0 of the given polynomial. Rewriting the remaining numerical coefficients, we will have x squared minus 9 equals 0. Factoring the given quadratic equation by sum and difference of two squares, we will have x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. Again, negative 2 
is a zero of the given polynomial, so do not forget to express this in factor form. The factors are x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 3. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. The steps in factoring polynomial expressions with degree greater than 2 are First, arrange the dividend in descending power of x. Use 0 to fill any missing term. Second, check for common monomial factor and factor it out. Third, use the rational 0 theorem to find the possible factors of the given polynomial function. Fourth, use synthetic division to find the correct factors by a trial and error. And last one is, write the polynomial in factored form. Let us now check your knowledge. Factor the following polynomials. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing your activity. Let us now check your work. Find the factors of p of x equals x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus x squared minus 3x. Rewriting the given polynomial in standard form, that is equal to x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus x squared minus 3x. Factoring using common monomial factor, that will be x times the quantity x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. The possible factors of the constant of the other factor are positive negative 1 and 3. Using synthetic division, the numerical coefficients of the other factor is 1, 3, negative 1, and negative 3. Let us first try 1. Bring down 1 times 1 is 1 plus 3, that's 4, times 1, that's 4, plus negative 1 is 3, times 1, positive 3, plus negative 3 is equal to 0. Since 0 is the remainder, 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial. Rewriting the remaining numerical coefficients to form an equation that is x squared plus 4x plus 3. Factoring the given trinomial that is x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 3. Do not forget that 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial. So, rewrite 1 in terms of factor. So, that is equal to x minus 1. Therefore, the factors are x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 3. Find the factors of x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12. The possible factors of 12 are positive negative 1, 2, 3, 6, and 12. Using synthetic division, let us now identify the numerical coefficients of the given polynomial, which are 1, 3, negative 4, and negative 12. Let us first try negative 3. Bring down 1, times negative 3 is negative 3, plus 3 is 0, times negative 3 is 0, plus negative 4 is negative 4, times negative 3 is positive 12, plus negative 12 is equal to 0. Since 0 is the remainder, therefore negative 3 is a 0 of the given polynomial. Rewriting the remaining numerical coefficients that is equal to x squared minus 4. Factoring this quadratic equation that is equal to x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. Do not forget that negative 3 is a 0 of the given polynomial. So write this one in terms of factor 4, which is equal to x plus 3. Therefore, the factors are x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 3. Thank you for watching Sir Ofnik's YouTube channel. 
If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless.